everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie, and today I'm gonna be playing some more of the Happy Home Paradise DLC, and I'm so excited, I love doing these videos, and we've got some very interesting little villagers out here, so let's see where this goes. Now before I get to work, there is actually something that I was notified of that I just want to point out. Apparently Nico is making more DIY stuff and collecting materials for it. Having island counters and pillars and different designs and materials might be handy for designing homes, right? I'll need a little wood and as many tree branches as I can get. I'm so confused. 30 tree branches and 10 wood. I like, I don't understand what's going on. I'll, I'll figure that out later. I'll bring some next time I come to do some houses. All right. Sweets. Interesting, interesting. Cake bakery. What? Oh, cake bakery. Duh. Wait, is this an actual Yeti? In my Shrek succulent swamp? Hans. I have never seen this villager, but they're just so interesting. I feel like I've got to do it. All right, what's the plan? What's the plan? My personal ski slope. I could totally dig that. All right, what? Where do we have like a mountain or a hill or. Nope. I think this is the best we're gonna get, so we'll do that. All right, so, uh, mm, <laughs> um, I think I want the house to be like the lodge. That kind of makes sense. We don't really have like a ski hill, so we'll have to pretend that the hill is like over here. Well, oh, could we make like a lift? Hold on, I have a concept. Okay, we have very limited resources. We're gonna try and make it work though. Maybe if I can use this, I can change this to white wood. And I could put one there and then one here. And it's kind of like the line. Oh, I wish there was like a middle here. That's okay. We can use this, the swinging bench, as like the, the lift itself. Maybe if there's a better color. The white might be too, yeah. Let's go with the dark wood. I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll leave it for now. Okay, and there's the other one. I feel inspired. I feel so inspired right now. I'm, I'm just so ready. Usually the place where you get on and off the lift is kind of covered. I'm not sure if there's anything I could use to kind of simulate that. I was thinking these gazebo kind of things, but you can't put stuff under them. So maybe if I could use like a partition or like this storefront, I'm not sure. Maybe some simple panels actually. Oh, that actually might work. Okay, there's all the skis. We'll have that there. Now, practically speaking, how would this work? Maybe if I put the panels over on the back there, like that, and then we can have this in front of them. Does that make any sense at all? Kind of. Does that look like a ski thing? Maybe if we put some, like, machinery thing right there. Ooh, like a heater. Ooh, that's actually such a good idea. And then it, like, kind of makes sense because when you're waiting for the lift, you, they don't want you to be chilly. They want to make sure you're all toasty. I don't know if that looks good, but I'm over it. Maybe if I just put some rocks, it'll like add to it in some way. I don't really know, okay? I'm trying my best. Hold on, let's take a brief intermission to give Hans a nice little- Ooh, oh my gosh. He actually looks kind of sleek. I, I, I was taken aback. Yeah, we'll go with that. That looks nice. That looks nice. He kind of fits in, you know? He's just grabbing his poles, ready to go for a little ski adventure. Let's design the ski lodge really fast. I feel like that's a pretty standard look. It won't take too long. We obviously need the brown and then we need like the Lincoln log looking cabin-y type deal. Yes, that is perfect. That is actual heat. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, it just feels empty. I feel like we need more life here. I'm not sure like what to put though. Maybe we could put some snowmen around. That's kind of like, that's something you would see at a ski hill. Just like the kids made a cheeky little snowman and it looks so cute and it's there and that's that. All right, I think that this works. I think this is good. And like, it looks kind of boring, but then it's also like, if you've been to a ski hill, you know that this is exactly what it looks like. So there's not really any point pretending otherwise, okay? Now for the inside of the ski lodge, usually it's just kind of like a very wooden sort of theme. A lot of tables because every- Soundscapes? Wait a minute. There's no snow one. Ooh, wind kind of works. I'm kind of into that. And we can make more of like a dim lighting. I kind of dig this, I won't lie. At the back here, we're just gonna put like the fire with little smaller fires around it. I don't know, they always have like a fireplace and then these little things, I feel. Oh, this fits so well, it's honestly disturbing. Oh, this looks so good, oh my gosh, it's like I'm there. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now if we can just get some stuff on the tables, that'll add a lot to it, I think. Maybe just, yeah, ooh, these all look so good. Just like very cozy foods. I really like them. 
We'll put Hans's poster. Oh, yeah, that looks great. I'm not sure why he's the one on display, but it just it just feels right, you know? I think this looks really, really good, but I, what I want to do, I think I want to tour the outside. I think it'd be super cute if I could see him, like, on the ski lift or something like that. That would be awesome. All right, let's see what he thinks of it. Oh, he's so ready. I love that. Oh, it actually looks really good. Wow. So majestic. That's... No, you you gotta sit. No. <laughs> no, you did the wrong thing. Yes, sit on it. Sit on it. Do it. No, get off your phone. Be part of the real world. You're the problem with society. I cannot believe you, Hans. I just made you a personal ski hill and you didn't even get on the lift to go skiing. You're just standing there on your phone. I'm appalled. I have some exciting news to share. We're ready to start providing two-story vacation homes? Lottie, that's too much for me. Oh, oh, oh my god. Like, that build just took me over an hour. I, I don't think I'm ready for two floors. Okay, okay, back to work. Now let's see, what do we have to work with? All of these were kind of meh. You know what? This person wants green furniture. I can deliver. It'll be great. Diana, oh my god. That just scared me. She's like, what, what are you making over there? Are you building somebody else's home? What, what, what's the theme? Are you gonna come work on my house? Like, <laughs> this is so frightening. Okay, a greenhouse. Where is the- Oh, this is green. That was so impulsive. I think it'll work out great, though. Lottie, Lottie, don't tell them about the two floors. Oh my god, please don't tell them. What is your suggestion? Um, uh, hmm. Uh, okay, fine. I'll try the two floors. Fine, fine, fine. I hate you, Lottie. I think we're done here. It does it get better? I guess we'll start with the house because it'll be very simple. Just whatever is green, like so. Oh, this is green. Oh, that's green. All right, dope, house done. <gasps> a balloon? Oh my gosh, wait, what? Why do I kind of like this? We can do some cacti, some of these little bamboo thingies, maybe more cacti, couple bears, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Okay, now the property is entirely surrounded by green. We'll have a little speaker for some tunes. This song is like jazzy, oh my gosh. KK, pop off. The KK Slider discography is actually unironically so good. <laughs> like sometimes I get in a mood and I just listen to KK Slider and that's not a joke. There, we'll have this bench and then upon the bench will be the green food because she's legally only allowed to eat green items. Okay, I think that looks suitably green. Oh my, it's even better when you're in it. Wow, this is like depressing. Everything else is just green as far as the eye can see. Well, that is what you asked for, so I delivered. Well, on to the main event, the greenhouse. Okay, I guess the upstairs we can make into like a bedroom type of deal. And then the downstairs we can just let our creativity run wild. Okay, my concept for this room. This is gonna be there. Um, I don't actually have a concept now that I'm thinking of it. I can't see anything with this foliage coming down from the ceiling. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's probably better that way, honestly. I think this is gonna be like a ritual room. I like the, I like the thought of like somebody starting up a cult and they're like, okay, I really need like something in my basement or like in my attic, a place to do rituals. But then all they have for decorating is like this pear furniture and they don't have enough money to get anything more sinister. So they're like, oh, I guess that'll have to make do. I think that's a beautiful thought. Is there any like cult garb that we could put on this little, oh, yes. This is so interesting. She looks like Tangle from Bre <laughs> Legend of Zelda. All right, so there, you're dressed. You're doing your ritual, your little diddly do. There we go. We'll also put these little balls in the corner just cause I, they, they make me uncomfortable. I feel like they need to be here. I feel like it would be kind of ominous to just have this picture of like KK Slider on the wall. Okay, this is fine. I don't, it's been so long. I don't care. I'm leaving, I'm doing the downstairs and then I'm out of here. I still have another house to do. Like, this is ridiculous. You expect me to do this for every client. Time is money. And I don't think 12,000 pokey is gonna cut it. Oh, I forgot to make the lighting up there green. Now I have to go back up the stairs. Like, come on. Oh, this is hurting my eyes. Okay, yeah, that's, that's suitable. What is the structure of this house with this little 4x4 room with the huge one on top? It seems kind of wrong. That's okay though. 
Okay, we're gonna grab cheeky little floor of green and then a green wallpaper. Ooh, this is like immersive. All right, we'll put that there. Just, uh, just purposes. We'll just line the room with these little things. I don't even know what these are. That's not frightening at all. I just want a rug. Oh, this is kind of fitting. We just won't really talk about it, you know? We'll just uh, put that there. It's just pretty, you know? I don't know how it turned out this way. I don't know how greenhouse turned into this in my head, but you know, this is just the way these things go, isn't it? Oh, um, she is not thrilled. You want a table? Oh, shut up. Table and a chair. That's really, I'll literally just put it right here and then you can be quiet. You've ruined my house design, even though this is your house and I'm supposed to be doing what you want. But yep, that's fine. I beg your pardon, but this isn't this room a little over- Come on! Why are you so picky? You want room? There. No, you- you know what? You want room? Here. Can you walk around now? Good lord! That was too much. She deserves this. I am so upset. Wow. Look how much thought was put into this. It's crazy. Wait, are we not going upstairs? Oh, there's nothing to- Oh! What is that? Oh my gosh. Well, you seem happy, despite all the trouble that was given. I wanted you to go upstairs. I thought this was a two-room type of thing. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, I do not want to join you. I want to leave as fast as possible because I don't like you. If I ever find that villager on a villager hunt, it's gonna probably raise my blood pressure. Like, I will be so mad. Like, <laughs> It's- <laughs> Welcome back. We've been working so hard lately, it's time we started treating you like a famous designer. Oh, okay. All right. Just think you started out as a trainee, but now you're a real deal designer. It's true. You're so trustworthy and capable and you do everything that we always tell you and you just deliver exactly what the client wants. <laughs> Thank you guys. I have a special challenge for you. Next time, why not propose a design for the client yourself? I mean... I've pretty much done that every time, but... Oh! <gasps> 15,000 pokey! Oh, I got a raise because I'm famous now. Love that. By the way, our selection of work clothes has been updated. Say no more. Say no more. For this new chapter in my life where I'm famous, I must wear the clothes of a famous person. I must look the part, you know? I can't really tell. Like, nothing? I don't know. I could be so many things. But like, would a famous person dress as a droplet of blood? That's really what I look like. Oh, that is so weird looking, what? I think this works. No, no, oh. I mean, okay, it's fine. I didn't want the Bob the Builder bag on, but it's still topical. Like, I still need to build things, you know? All right, I suppose I have the time for one more. I mean, I am famous now after all, but I'll try to, I'll try to fit something into my very busy schedule. Cephalobot. He wants a place that reminds him of back home. Do you mean like space? I am kind of down for that. I've had get my own swaggy vacation home on my to-do list for a while. I haven't heard the word swag since I was in like fifth grade. I'm kind of into it though. Let's bring swag back. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it's better that it died. Oh, I kind of like the items that they're providing. Ooh, which of these reminds me of space? Wow, we've done a lot of houses. My impact. I think I've chosen the best property. No, stop it. Stop it again with the donk donk. Donk donk. <laughs> one floor sounds tight and exclusive. Two floors sounds glamorous and inviting. I think one floor is fine for you, honestly. I think that you will be fine without two. And it is not a conflict of interest. It is not because I'm too lazy to do the second one. Don't even, do, don't get that in your head. I don't know where you got that from. I kind of want Cephalobot just because the little saying is donk donk. It reminds me of that game in Rhythm Heaven Fever, where where it's like, dunk, 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 dunk. I don't remember. I haven't played that in like 12 years. Okay. House first. Spacey. A space house is a round house. I need to make a UFO. I think that looks vaguely like a UFO. Wow, there really are just rocks all the way, all the way down. Okay. Unknown machine. Whoa, this is actually sick. Look at all these items. I'm gonna make like a Star Wars ha- What? That's an item in the- Get there's a flying so- I'm overwhelmed. The outside is gonna be like more of a work space. We'll put his house next to his UFO just in case he needs a speedy getaway. 
Whoa, this rock is moving. I'm so into it. We'll have these little pods. They're like the Mewtwo chamber pod things. I wish there was like a broken one. That would be kind of dope. I don't even know what to do. I'm just so overwhelmed. We'll put this thing, whatever this is, right there. It looks like important enough to be there. And then we'll have these pods because they're so menacing looking. It's like there's more cephalobots and you just don't know where they are. But these are all their little clone pods. Okay, I'm kind of into this. And then here is where Cephalobot is learning about mechanics. I'm sorry, Cephalobot. That was a horrible class. Still, though. And then a button, just in case he has to self-destruct the whole island, as one does. And we'll have some more gears. You can customize these? I'm about to pee. Dude, this is like too much for me. As a first build, maybe. But as the last one of the day, my brain can't handle this. I have to like come up with a whole sci-fi novel just to make this island. Like there's so much. These are all Cephalobot's little minions. This guy is putting gasoline in the rocket, the, the UFO, sorry. Oh my gosh, wow. I can't, wow. Onward, I suppose. <laughs> I want the lighting to be like purple. I don't know, it just kind of makes sense for some reason. And we could have space sounds. Whoa, the immersion. Okay, now what? Oh, that seat. Cephalobot needs to sit on that or I will cry. Now let's see. We want to like tell a story here. I just don't, there's so many stories to be told, honestly. I don't even know which to tell. I have like chills. This is so overwhelming. All right, we'll put the cogs and such along the walls there. Now... We're gonna have these little pod things along this wall for some reason. And we're also gonna have this machine and then it's gonna be attached to these little conveyor belts. And what goes on those conveyor belts beats me. Maybe we take one of these and it's like it's connected to the conveyor belt. It's like the power source or something. And that does something somewhere, I'm sure. I like these gears a lot. We can kind of like try and make it seem as if they work with that. Oh, that's so dope. Then this little corner is going to be where like all the analysis stuff happens. Maybe this is his bed and the conveyor belt brings him like food or something while he's sleeping because he constantly needs energy. And these little robots are the ones that give it to him. I have no idea. This is so cool though. I'm, I'm so into this. I, I'm so sorry. I'm just... Like, this is awesome. I wonder if there's a way to put stuff on the conveyor belt. Like, if I could put food or something on it. Carton beverage. It has to be carton beverage. The best item in this whole friggin' game. <gasps> I love it here. Yes, this brings Cephalobot the carton beverage that he needs to survive as he's sleeping. This is fantastic. Is Cephalobot Santa? In this, in this like, happy home paradise canon universe, is Cephalobot Santa? Hold on. <laughs> I'm like... I'm concerned. I haven't even done like a walling and flooring. Hold on, hold on. That is gonna take this to a whole nother level. I'm gonna pee myself. This is so sick. Oh my god. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever seen in my whole friggin' life. What? This is my favorite thing I've done yet. I'm not even kidding. I love this so much. I'm shocked at myself. Cephalobot. I hope you enjoy this. I want I want to see the reaction. Let's go. It actually looks so good. I'm kind of proud of this one, I won't lie. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. I love these items. This is so cool. Oh, he's repairing something. Wow, I think he's overwhelmed even. He doesn't even know what to do. Oh, what a cutie. I love Cephalobot. Making this island home kind of makes me want Cephalobot on Quinoa. What are your plans later? I wish I could stay, but it's been a full work day. And frankly, I'm hungry, Cephalobot. And donk donk to you too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, of course. Who are you speaking with? That call was an inquiry about our vacation homes. The caller saw a photo of one that you designed and they asked about getting a home of their own. Those photos of yours sure are generating a lot of good vibes. Speaking of good vibes, it's pay time. All right. Can you believe that last project brings you to the 20 homes mark? Oh my goodness. 
We decided it'd be nice to celebrate as a team again, so I reserved us a spot. Let's head to the party. Oh, it's in Shrek Swamp. I love you guys. Now that we're all settled in here, congrats on designing 20 vacation homes, Charlie. You blew through 20 like a strong island breeze. <laughs> what? Thanks, I think. Um, okay. Congrats. Again. Thank you, Bordell. Everyone has a glass of juice ready? Well then. Cheers! Oh my god. I feel so successful and famous and happy. Lottie decidedly did not drink that. She shoved it up her neck. <laughs> Just saying. It's hard for me to wrap my head around how busy we are. You won't find me complaining. That's because you don't really do anything. I hate to say it. You just kind of stand there. Are you sure you're not working too hard there, Lottie? You deserve some time- Excuse me, what about me? I thought this was my party. There's something I really want to do first. I'll take some time off later. I was thinking it'd be fun to hold a special event on the island. I want to hold a music festival? Coachella, baby! Governor's Ball 2023 is being held on my happy home paradise island. <laughs> For the time being, we should work on increasing the number of folks around here. I want our event to be super exciting, and the more folks who enjoy it, the better it'll be. Having a measurable goal is best, so let's work on getting 10 more clients into vacation homes. Well, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. We are very quickly reaching the end of this DLC. We've only got 10 more homes to go, and I've been having such a fun time with it. I'm sad that it's ending, but happy that it happened, I guess. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye!